I'm going to be making an Irish cream chocolate mint tart pie for St. Patrick's Day. You're going to have to thaw out one pie crust. I've got the Pillsbury. Thaw it out and then you're going to roll it into your pie pan. I believe this is a 9 inch pie pan. rolled out and then you're going to press that down in there like that make sure it's pressed all the way down in here like this then if it laps over you can take some scissors some kitchen shears and just cut around the edge here Just throw the dough away. Just pinch this around the edge. You can do it like this and kind of make dents. like that. You don't have to be perfect. Now you're going to put it in a 425 degree oven for 9 to 11 minutes or until golden brown. I'm going to give you a tip. Don't cut the edge off. I wasn't thinking that this is going to shrink down. It's not going to. So let it layer over because then because it will cover the whole pan. So don't do like I did and mess up on that. I'm going to let this cool off and then we're going to start on the filling. In a microwave bowl you're going to melt one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Put in the microwave for 40 seconds and then stir it, then every five seconds, you stir it until it's melted and smooth. It's smooth, now you're going to set it to the side and let it cool for about three minutes. Now we're going to make the filling. You're going to put one can of sweetened condensed milk. It doesn't have to be Eagles brand. It can be any kind you want to buy. Then you're going to put in a third cup of heavy whipping cream or you can use Irish cream liqueur. But I'm using heavy whipping cream. That's what I have. And two large eggs. And then the chocolate chips that you melted. Put that in there. With an electric mixer on medium speed, you're going to mix it until it's smooth. Take your cold pie shell, 
and pour this into the pie shell. You're going to put it in the oven 425 for 15 minutes. Then reduce the oven to 350 and bake 20 to 30 minutes longer until center is set. That means when it's not jiggly anymore. I just took it out of the oven. It's done. It's not jiggly anymore. So I've got to let it sit on the cooling rack for an hour and then refrigerate it for two hours. Then after it's set in the refrigerator, I'll come back and do the topping. Now we're going to make the topping to go on the pie. This is what it looks like after it's set in the refrigerator. I just let it sit in there overnight. You're going to need half a cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to put it in my sifter to sift it. You're going to need a third cup of cocoa. I'm going to go in and sift that in there. And get all the lumps out of there and sift it good. Do you like that? Then you're going to put a dash of salt. One teaspoon of vanilla extract or one teaspoon of peppermint extract. Since I'm going to make this into a mint flavored, I'm going to use one teaspoon of mint extract. Then you're going to use one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Now you're going to use your electric mixer on high speed and mix it until stiff peaks form. I've got it all whipped up. It should look like that. I already tasted that off the beater and it's it's really good. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread that onto the pie. And just spread that across. Now what I'm going to do is I bought some of these Andes mints. I'm going to I'm going to crush up a few of them. And I'm going to put them on top of the pie. I'm going to show you how I broke up the candy. Yep, my hands are clean. Just break them in little pieces. 
they're easy to break. And see, they're like broken in little pieces. Take the pie back over here. And just sprinkle them on top. Now, if you don't like mint candies, you don't like mint, you can use chocolate chips on top. You can buy some a chocolate bar and put on top. But I love mint, mint candy like peppermint patties. I just love those. They look good on there. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it set for an hour. Then we'll slice into it and try it. I'm going to try it now. I finally got it out and it dropped and messed up so but it's all right it still will taste the same but this is what it looks like inside see the chocolate layer there and then the whip topping chocolate layer Let me try it Mmm. Try the bottom layer. And you can taste the mint in the top layer too. It's so good. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe. And click the